um, hi team I hope you are doing well it's all going well for my side so in, in today's video um, I'm gonna show you how you can generate the p12 file um, I think the question is what is a p12 file right let's say you are building an app right you are building an iOS app that you want to ship to the store it doesn't matter what you build it with you can build it with Flutter, Swift uh, you can build it with React Native or Espo so you build an app on your on your machine and then after building that app of course you want to build it and then uh, and then you build it and ship it to the other um, you, you ship it to, to the store to the app store or you ship it maybe to distribution channels something like firebase di distribution uh something like also app center and then you want to then like um send the app for people to install and test the app as well so basically a p12 file is a it's, it's a private key it's like you are giving someone you are you are giving a permission you are, you are giving them other machine and a permission to build an application for your team so i'm gonna walk you through all the, the steps on how you can you can then go about generating the generating the key store so the first thing that you need to access on your machine i'm not sure if you can see my screen but i'm just gonna drag it to my secondary screen so you have to open what we call keychain access right um you have to open keychain access let me when you open it it's going to ask you to enter the password or you can use fingerprints so from my side for for the quick way of doing it i am just going to use um my my uh, fingerprints and then after that after opening the key the keychain uh i'm not sure if i can see it here keychain access so open keychain access all right so this is the view that, that you're gonna you're gonna see so in my situation i do have another certificate that i think it has expired uh, but what you need to do you just need to click click here on the keychain access on the top left corner corner and then you go to the certificate access, uh, assistance right and then after that you have to request a, a, a certificate from uh the authority just gonna click that and then this is the view that you should see after that you're just gonna say you can enter the email if you want but it's not really required i want to save mine to the disk then yeah i think now they require an email i'm just gonna enter my email quickly it doesn't really have to be a valid email since they're not gonna send this to your mail but i'm just gonna give it like my signature there and then but i'm choosing to save it on my disk uh let me just save it on down download since i'm gonna clear this after the, the, the video so here i'm creating the signing request right and then this is how it's gonna look like if i go to my finder this is how it's gonna look like it's under downloads let me just clean up this. this is what i don't need yeah but it's gonna look like this right you can see the size also here and then after that you need to go to apple developers account apple developers account i'm also gonna put the link on the description about the developers account just go to the link <laughs> and then um you just need to sign in here uh, okay it's gonna ask me to enter my credentials which is fine yeah after signing it this is the view that you should be seeing and then here <clears throat> because we want to a, a p12 in order for you to create a p12 file then you need to create a certificate first i am just quickly going to go to uh, one thing that i want you to know here i do have a bundle identifier already because p12 should be associated with the bundle identifier so i'm just gonna go to the certificate create the certificate so yeah when you're creating the certificate the p12 certificate that i'm talking about you need to be able is either the p12 certificate that you're creating is for the development purpose or is also for the distribution purpose it's either it's for development or is for the it's either for the development or is for distribution purpose but the one that i'm going to do is for development purpose basically when you create a p12 for the development purpose in it, it means that the app that you're not you are going to build is not going to go to the the app that you are going to build is not then going to go to the store you are basically just going to distribute or send someone ip ipa file and then they can download and install the app but when you 
create a di dis distribution one, it means that the app that you're gonna build, you can then send it to the App Store Connect, you can send it to Test Flight, and people can download it through that. So, but let me, for this purpose, let me ju just create a pitfall for development, right? But it's, the, pro the processor is pretty much the same. So after this, they're gonna ask you to upload the signing request, right? Signing request is basically the one that we just created. I'm just gonna go to downloads and then upload these. Seems good. Yes, and then after that, I can download it. Okay, let's see. After downloading it, it should be under my, yeah, you should see this iOS development certificate right and then what you need to do from there from here you just need to double click this after do double clicking it it will then add it to the keychain and then i should see today's the 5th of july yeah it's gonna come here of course let me just say yeah it's the oh, 5th of july I just wanna see yeah, it, where exactly is added because it's for the development profile let me quickly check Sorry, I'm just checking where this was added exactly. Let me just go back to it and double click again because it should highlight it. Okay, cool. Let me see the certificate that was added. Seems like it's this one, right? Yeah, it seems like, which one is it? Which one is it? Let me just check the days. Today is the, no, it's the fourth not the fifth yeah this was the one that i'm looking for sorry for the delay oh ah, yeah it's the fourth one right you just need to make sure that you click the arrow here and then you can come here right click and then you can export this uh, you just need to export this one this certificate and then you can save it as um yeah i'm just gonna keep it certificates and then i wanna save it to to my i want to save it to down, downloads again and then you can see the extension now yeah where you're exporting it as p12 and this is basically what we want and then uh you can save but this this is you need to give it the password it means that the person that i am gonna give this uh, certificate i am i have to also give them the password right um and then i'm just gonna give it one two three four five one two three four five and then i can then you can see the password also here and then i can then see if this this is basically the password for my mac so just gonna say all this are now and then after this if i go back to my finder again you see now i do have access to p12 file so with this p12 file then i can then send this to someone with a mac and give them the permission to do it to build um and give them the permission to build the app for my team so basically what i like to do is just to say p12 p12 file right i'm just gonna say p12 file and then move this then yeah and then one thing that i also like to do is to also add the flag here saying that this is for development this is for development.p12 file I mean that the person I think I'm using cup up casing here. And then I also need to give what? I also need for me to update, I also need to give it the password, p12 password. And so yeah, and I also one thing that I also prefer is to add another to create another file here and like uh just like a readme file for the password. But that that's how you go about creating the p12 file, then you can just send it to, to the other person to build. Uh, the app for you can just send it to the other person to, to then build the app for your team so and i usually do this uh if i'm building the app via the pipelines because the pipeline is basically a computer where i can give that computer this uh, certificate to give it the permission to build my the app for my team okay that's it guys uh on the next video i'll be going uh through about how you can go about creating the provisioning profile cheers guys